Hi, welcome to the MathCenter.com. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem that appeared on the recent uh, exams, the P3 exams, Pure Maths P3. The details I have written it out here, the CIE exams, uh, subject code 9709 slash 33. Okay, so uh, we are looking at the October, November 2015 exam session. Again, we are looking at the October, November 2015 exam session. Uh, code, the paper code is 9709 slash 33. Uh, it's a CIE uh, Pure Maths paper 3 exam question number 5. Okay, uh, you can download the question from the CIE website. Uh, it is a problem involving integration uh, using the method of substitution. We are asked to use, uh, before that, this problem um, with a good a full solution you get 8 points. Okay? It is a question that can give you 8 points, so it's pretty heavily weighted, so let's do it properly. Yeah? So this is uh, asking you to use u equals to uh, 4 minus 3 cos x to evaluate this integral. So what I'm going to do is uh, go through the question step by step and we'll get to the answer at the bottom, okay? So let's start with the important things that we're going to use. First, let's look at the substitution itself. u equals to 4 minus 3 cos x. Okay, let's take the derivative, okay? du dx equals... When you differentiate cos x, you will get minus sin x. Okay, so du dx is 3 sin x. So let me write it here. du dx equals to 3 sin x. Okay, let me write uh, du as the subject. So du equals to 3 sin x dx. Again, follow this carefully, yeah? u equals to 4 minus 3 cos x. In any substitution problem, we always start with the substitution and we take the derivative. Yeah. So in this case, du dx is 3 sin x, so du is 3 sin x dx. Okay, so let's keep that here. du is 3 sin x dx. What else do we need? Let's look at the limits. Uh, x goes from 0 to pi over 2 so let me erase this we don't need this okay we don't need this uh, I'm taking care of the limits first so when x is 0 uh, u will be 4 minus 3 uh, cos of 0 is 1 so I have uh, 4 minus 3 is 1 okay so x is 0 the lower limit Plug it inside here, cos of 0 is 1, so 4 minus 3 is 1. Let's take care of x equals to pi over 2, the upper limit. And u will be 4 minus 3 cos pi over 2. Cos of pi over 2 is what? Good, 0. So we will have 4. So we know the lower limit, u equals to 1. And the upper limit, u equals to 4. What else do we need? We need some formulas, okay? Take note, sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x, okay? Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. So let's start with the problem. Okay, um, we have a nine, okay? We have a nine. Sine 2x is 2 sine x cos x. And at the bottom, we have uh, the square root of 4 minus 3 cos x, and let's leave the dx here, okay? Now, let's uh, do a little bit of rearrangement. So now I have, 9 times 2 is 18. I'm going to write it as uh, 6, let me erase that, okay? I'm going to write it as 6 times cos x. 3 sine x dx over the square root of 
4 minus 3 cos x. What have I done here? I have replaced sin 2x with 2 sin x cos x. There's a 9 here. 9 times 2 is 18. I've broken that 18 up into uh, 6 times 3. So I've written 6 cos x times 3 sin x. So nothing has changed. And the denominator I've left it at the square root of 4 minus uh, 3 cos x. Square root. Good. Okay. One more thing. If I have, uh, let me make a note here. If u is 4 minus 3 cos x, then cos x will be equals to 4 minus u over 3. Okay, if you can't see this, just write one more, one extra line. Okay, we can write it as 3 cos x equals to 4 minus u and then bring the 3 down. Okay, and then bring the 3 down. So now you know what is cos x as well. Okay, good. Now it will plug in a few things. So we have got now doing the substitution. I leave the 6 there. What is cos x? 4 minus u over 3. What is 3 sin x dx? du. Okay. And then I have a square root of u. Again, okay, because it's very important. I have a 6 here that I have here. Cos x is, okay, what is cos x? 4 minus u over 3. You see that here. 3 sin x dx is du. And I have a square root of u at the bottom. Okay. So let me clean this up a little bit. Uh, 6 and 3, I have a 2. So I can write it as uh, 2, 4 minus u over the square root of u du. Okay. So I have 2 here, 6 divided by 3. And I have a 4 minus u and a square root of u. Okay. So this becomes 8 minus 2u over the square root of u du. Let's continue with the problem. Uh, we had 8 minus 2u in the numerator and a square root u in the denominator. And I was telling you about the limits earlier. Uh, the lower limit we worked out as 1. Okay, just to remind you, when x is 0, we have 4 minus 3 is 1. And when x is 5 or 2, uh, we have got 0 here, so this is 4. Now the problem is quite easily handled, just normal integration, okay? So let's do that here. I have um, eight, uh, I'll write a little bit more, okay, so that all of you can follow. Okay, I have uh, split uh, eight minus two u, the numerator into eight over square root of u, minus two u over square root of u. So now let's write in the form that we can easily integrate. Okay, bring the u up, it becomes u to the power of minus half. There's a u to the power of 1 here, and there's a u to the power of half here. Using indices, we'll have u to the power of half. Now we can integrate. Okay, increase the power by 1. Increase the power by 1. And I have my limits. Let's plug it in here, 1, 4, 1, 4, and I have my upper limit 4, and my lower limit 1. Okay, again, increase the power by 1, you'll get a half, bring it down. Increase the power by 1, you'll get 3 over 2, bring it down. Now all that's left is just, you know, plugging in the numbers. So let's do that here. So I'll have uh, 16 u to the power of a half, uh, minus 4 over 3, u to the power of 3 over 2, okay? Uh, 2 divided by 3 over 2 is 4 over 3. I've written, it, I've written that here. And my limits will be 4. So let's evaluate that. Okay, let's evaluate that. I'll write in all the numbers. Uh, 16, 4 to the power of half, minus 4 over 3, 4 to the power of 3 over 2, minus 16. And you plug in 1, it's pretty easy. Minus 4 over 3. Okay, so just be a bit careful about the indices here because you have a number which is 4 here, 4 to the power of half, 
is 2. So I'll have 16 times 2 is 32. Uh, 4 to the power of 3 over 2. Uh, 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So I'll have. Okay? You can use a calculator, but uh, you can do this yourself in your head. 4 to the power of 3 over 2 is 2 to the power of 3. And you'll get 8 times 4 is 32 over 3. And I have minus 16 minus 4 over 3. Okay? So uh, when you clean this up, uh, use a calculator and you'll get your final answer 20 over 3. And you're done.